All right. So once again, I welcome you all in this uh, new topic that is EMI. Now, what is the meaning of EMI? That is electromagnetic induction. So in this, uh, we are just going to see that how a uh, change in magnetic field produces some EMF. Okay. EMF kaise produce karta hai koi bhi change agar magnetic field ke andar aata hai to. All right. So now let us start. Download the SSB Short Shot app from Google Play Store to access courses for written exams like NDA, CDS, and FCAT. You can also find courses for SSB Personality Development and Spoken English. Apply the coupon code SIGNUP15 to get 15% off on your first purchase. Call us on 725-930-7111 for any queries. So the very first topic is Faraday's Law of EMI. Now what does this Faraday's Law of EMI say? That is, if I'll define this. So Faraday's uh, Law of EMI says that change in flux results in results and in induction of emf theek hai jab bhi hamara flux ke andar koi bhi change aayega there will be some induction of emf in that theek hai in uh, induction of emf in our conductors mainly theek hai mainly about the conductors all right acha if the circuit is closed let us suppose this was our conductor and through this uh, some emf is being produced so if my circuit is completed agar mere paas circuit completed jisme koi load hai theek hai a circuit is completed that means there will be some flow of current also emf is there so there will be definitely some flow of current that current is known as induced current okay one more thing that this emf is induced so every induction will be there in order to resist the change and right now what is the change the change is of flux theek hai magnetic flux ka jo change aa raha hai usko resist karne ke liye kya produce ho gaya hai yahan pe emf produce ho gaya hai now what will be the value of this emf the value of this emf will be minus of d5 by dt d5 by dt with minus sign why minus sign because it will be just opposite to the direction of your applied flux theek hai jis taraf aapka flux mein change ho raha hai uske just opposite mein aapka magnetic uh, sorry emf induce ho jayega okay so in supportive of this there will uh, there is one more law that is lenz law which explains us that every induction is in the opposite direction and with an example of a coil theek hai i'll take a coil this is my coil this is of some conductor now this is my bar magnet and what i did this is north pole this is south pole what i did i'm bringing this bar magnet near to my coil that is velocity is there and this velocity is basically approaching towards our coil theek hai now if this is approaching to the coil so just let me know whether your magnetic field lines will increase or not magnetic field lines which are cutting your coil that will increase or not when you will approach it it will definitely increase theek hai intensity of your magnetic field that will increase when you will approach towards it okay so north pole is here right now the flux is increasing what we need to do we need to decrease this not we this conductor wants to decrease it theek hai hame to kya chahiye ki iske andar koi na koi induction ho jaye that's all what we want but what our conductor want that whatever change is there that needs to be resisted now north pole is approaching so in order to resist it north pole must be induced theek hai north pole induce hona chahiye now if north pole is induced so that means in order to induce the north pole this must be the direction of current that is induced current induced current will be in anti clockwise direction 
Why? Because your flux is increasing. Flux is increasing. So we need to oppose this. So in order to oppose this, what will happen? North pole will be there and it will resist the pole. Okay. It will resist the approaching. Okay. Now see. This is again your coil. And let us suppose your bar magnet is over here, north and south. So uh, now what is happening? Your bar magnet is going away. Now what is happening? Now what is Now what will happen? Again, flux is changed. How? Right now when it is going away, that means your magnetic field line is reduced. The number of magnetic field lines on this coil, that is reduced. The intensity is reduced. So what is happening? Again, the flux is changed. So in order to resist this, what we need to do? We need to stop its motion. So in order to stop that, what we need to do? We need to attract this North Pole. Okay? We need to attract this North Pole. And in order to attract it, South Pole must be there. And if South Pole is there, that means what will be the direction of current? The direction of current that is induced current. will be in clockwise direction. Yes or no? Now, what will happen? It will clockwise direction. Mein ho All right. So that means that uh, your current will be produced in the counter direction. Okay. It will always counter. If it was an increment, it will यहाँ पे इसको repel करके इसने counter किया and here it will be attractive so attract करके यहाँ पे counter करने वाला है ठीक है so this was all about your induction of current and lines law ठीक है चलो आगे देखो okay uh, magnitude हमने देख ही लिया the magnitude will be minus of d5 by dt this will be the magnitude of your induced EMF all right Don't forget to subscribe to our new channel SSB Short Short Plus for exclusive new videos. Also follow us on Instagram for all the latest updates. Check out a Short Short guide to crack SSB on Amazon. The link is in the description below.